<laughs> a question I need to be answered. What's the biggest egg a woman can give you? A man who's here to answer some questions. Hey guys, it's your boy, something. Today we're on r slash askmen and we are answering the most simplest questions that I could find. Number one, your husband says he fantasizes over other women. What do you say? There's like levels to it. There's like celebrity status, like fantasizing over women. Then you have a woman you know from work. Hmm. Oh, that's a little bit uh, different in terms of how they can be justified. Scarlett Johansson, for example, here she is compared to Joanna from work. Which one are you more able to talk to? Possibly, possibly harder to talk to Scarlett Johansson than Joanna. All right. Get out of it, Joanna. I ain't cheating today, mother. Mm, I have a girlfriend. What, what does my girlfriend say to this? I have autism. Aha! Uh -huh. Thank you, girlfriend. Link in the description for her channel, by the way. If the wife says, oh, wow, Chris, Chris Hemsworth, what a sexy fella. And I also agree, what a sexy fella. But it's like, you can't really talk to him unless you get really lucky on Twitter. I think he's on Twitter. I don't know. The wife is bisexual. She uh, fantasizes a woman at her workplace called Josina. All right, Justina's like, wow, baby girl, you're pretty fine. Obviously how women talk to each other. Ah, you look beautiful in this workplace. Now that isn't fantasizing. That's, ac that's actively flirting with someone. So you either keep it in here. Or you cheat with your mouth. But let's see what people have said. <laughs> I don't date men. Well r slash gay bros respect i don't know <laughs> more, more of a pump and dump type of guy reel him in pump and dump what what does that even mean i don't know <laughs> i'm a straight man so if my husband ever said that i would probably explain that i also think of other women what oh okay good dr drangle <laughs> It depends on the type of relationship you and he have. Most would not be pleased to hear this. However, you're both liberated <laughs> to find out accidentally would have been upsetting, but he's offered you this. He wants you to know for a reason. Investigate further. You find the answers you seek. And then below it says everybody fantasizes from time to time. That doesn't mean they want to cheat on their partner. Uh, kind of true. <laughs> Although I am a dedicated man in my relationship. No fantasizing here. Yeah. Anyway, we have answered this question of fantasizing over people. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Fred, Fred talk. On to the next question. <laughs> Guys, what's the craziest thing you've ever done to get laid? I want to hear about some horrible stories. So, this is NSFW. You have been warned. Not me, but I saw this guy pretending to be Scottish to get laid in Norway. <laughs> My man's in Norway. He's pretending to be Scottish. Where could this be going? He had a ring of a super hot woman around him. So I went up and asked him, Hey, are you Scottish? Where are you from? He said, Yes, Dublin. And I immediately knew he was faking it. Uh, Ireland, Scotland. How's he done that then? How, how's he achieved a Scottish accent in Ireland? I need to know how. So he admitted that he was actually Norwegian. Of course, that would explain the geological locations of mixed up accents. I don't know. But when he faked the Scottish accent and being a lost Scottish tourist, more girls would be more into him and they'd want to take him home so he wouldn't have to sleep on the street. Okay. He's secure in the bag. Personally, if it was either fake and a Scottish accent, being homeless, they would make sweet love. This is how I would make the sweet love. Well, but yes, I would also fake a Scottish accent to not be homeless. Good on the man, but he is tricking women. Don't go on the man, literally. But fair enough, he don't want to be homeless. No one wants to be homeless. It was safe for them, he told me, because they wouldn't have to worry about him coming back the next morning. Though he did admit that those times he forgot to also fake Scottish, the next morning could be quite awkward. So he's just waking up like, hey, no, no. I'm not actually Scottish. <laughs> That's my best Norwegian accent. 
<laughs> what is a Norwegian accent? I don't know. <laughs> so, there you have it. If you had to get laid in Norway, just pretend to be a lost Scottish tourist. And the gals will all flog in to take care of you. All the best. One thing I don't understand about this, this story is about these women actually believe in the Scottish accent. Is it really that easy to fake a Scottish accent? <laughs> Hi, I'm a girl. I'm in. What was it they said? Oh. I, I'm in Norway. I'm a tourist. Two meters up the road. What are you doing? I'm a bogus gas man. And then they're like, oh my God, is he Scottish? I need to take him home right now and rip off his clothes. Hello, I'm not actually Scottish. I don't care. I want to take you home. <laughs> Is it really that potent, the Scottish accent? Hey, it's guys and girls, you've heard it here. Don't trust the Scottish. Just saying. Nope, that's not what we learned from here. I don't know. We learned something. There is a lot of dating stuff on this Arsh Lass Ask Men. And I don't understand why. Can we not learn from each other? Is there something, uh, a, a boy without a father figure? Maybe there could be someone I'm ready to be like, I don't know, focus on education, don't focus on women. I don't know, or, or men, or anything you like, toaster. Why isn't there none of that, all right? Literally, like, let me just list off a few questions. How many of you chosen to not participate in dating and why? Okay, well, this one's a bit of uh, an anomaly. What has been your best purchase this year? Okay, that's an anomaly, but uh, hang on. What do men mean when they say women lack accountability? Very philosoph philosophical, very. Next one. When has a woman said the phrase, I don't usually do this to you? Even this last one. How do you say a weekend vacation when it gets derailed by a girlfriend who's extra emotional from her period. Ah! It feels more or less like relationship advice. At r slash relationship advice for people. For, for boys. Or if you identify as a boy. Uh, as you can tell, I'm looking for the questions that are more, more or less a bit absurd. Uh, not absurd, but like, oh, what does that mean? <laughs> Yes! A question I want! Or everyone needs to know. What is something you really want that's under 50 bucks? This is a question I've been looking for. I've been literally looking all around my room for this question. But finally, I have found it. Uh, oh, wow. What, a, what an answer. Dump $50 worth of loose pepperoni in one big Ziploc bag. Hand it to me directly with no wrapping. Yeah. Hey, buddy, I got some pepperoni for you. you. know that thing you really want? Like, it was either that or a cure for cancer. It doesn't matter. I've got your pepperoni, dude. Be grateful, you horrible child. What do you mean? Why would you do this to me? You little cretin! Pepperoni in a bag, unwrapped! Thank you, Cole Sagan. <laughs> no wrapping paper, no warning. Just this pepperoni in your hands. I can dig it. Honestly, he got me, got, he was edging me. He, he, I got right to the end of that sentence. No wrapping paper, no warning. Just this pepperoni in your hands. Where could this go? I can dig it. That's right, my dude. I can dig it. <laughs> dig it like the pepperoni I, I sliced and diced. Me trying to fit into a club. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think this is the most age-appropriate answer I've ever heard. Monster energy drinks, bro. Monster energy drinks. Uh, it was a time in my life where I would go at 4 a.m. and I'm going to the, the 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 gas station and get myself some some cans of that supreme liquid. There was something about it. But then I, I then I realized, oh shit, I'm having heart palpitations. My my my, my hands are shaking. Uh, my knees are weak. Uh, I can't kick a ball straight. I don't know what I'm doing here. And then I stopped. And then I realized, please, no one ever buy me a monster again. You see, I like this one. It could go really bad or really good. Professor McFat says, a trial gym membership or an evolution of where I'm at and what I need to do. Um, a trial gym membership, they're normally free, right? Oh, so you pocket the 50 bucks. Oh, I love all 50 bucks in my pocket. And a trial to the gym. Oh, I'm a, I'm a slab of that gym all over, man. You know what I mean? I really don't understand what this means. Or an evolution of where I'm at and what I need to do. I think everyone could do with an evolution. If I could provide that as a birthday present, do you know how OP that would be? Dude, uh, like, it's my, my brother's birthday, and I'm just like, look, brother, somebody I've known since birth, you could either get the 50 bucks that you really need right now, or I could give you an evolution. You want the 50, you really want the 50 bucks? Uh, 
Dude, I have insight. But you won the 50 bucks. All right. I think I need an evolution. What is an evolution? Is it evolution? I don't freaking know. <laughs> <laughs> a question I need to be answered. What's the biggest egg a woman can give you? Oh, goodness. I've seen those videos, t TikToks even, where they're like, what a man can't say or do because it'll give the woman of his dreams the ick. Like, if he drops something and then it starts rolling and then he's there bent over trying to, like, trying to get it on the floor. So he's like this. Like, oh, oh, no, sorry. Oh. And then, and then his and then his wife is over there going. Ah! 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 What are you doing? Ah! An ick a woman can give me. I have no ick. <laughs> I'm a man on the internet, so I must not say anything. <laughs> Awake now. He will give us the insight of his opinion on what his ick is on women. Let's find out. And he's a male, by the way. So watch out. For me, it's smell. Bad breath. Body odor. Maybe it's just a phenomenal incompatibility thing. But certain women I've been with either needed to brush their teeth or shower more often. And there was something on an unconsciousness level that was biologically compatible between us. <laughs> I gotta read that again. I gotta read. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. But certain women I've been with either needed to brush their teeth and shower more often. Or there was something on an unconscious level that wasn't biologically compatible with us. I think that you should, like, respect people. Maybe they have, like, some kind of illness or something. There's, like, somebody who smells like fish. They can't help it. Got, like, a red gene where their body just naturally smells like fish. And it's, I know it's not the most pleasant smell in the world, but they gotta live with it. And you're over here going, you see that brick over there? I'm gonna freaking kill you. <laughs> you're my ick. Yeah, I mean, brushing your teeth, that's definitely something you need to do. I think everyone has the ability to get a brush. Unless you don't have hands. But then there's people with no hands brushing their teeth. So it's a bit of... Or there was something on an unconscious level that was biologically compatible with us. I don't... I don't know. Below it says, Biological compatibility smell thing is real. Though it's likely some of women might have bad hygiene. I would like to know the women's X on Awake Now. All right, everyone's got their down floors. <laughs> I've been your boy, whatever this channel is called. I don't know if I'm going to publish this on my Death Flaming or my friend Dyslexic. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. More to come like this because I want to be a commentator. All right. I, I love you guys. Whoever my people are who watch this. Bye.